Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones here in the Westerlands as House Blackmane. We are picking up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, one of our, well not our allies, one of our vassals is being attacked in an avenge war. So the only decent thing about this, well I shouldn't say decent, the only good thing about this is no matter what, we don't lose any of our land. Uh, but we will, like I said, because we're, you know, we're, we're compassionate and we're tempered, well, we're not loyal, but... You know, we will support our vassals to the best of our ability. So, like I said, we are going to fight them as best as we can. I don't know if we can win, but that's okay. And the other thing is also uh, this popped up literally at the very end of the last episode. So, we are taking um, some gold from uh, what's his name? High Septon, the quiet one. Fair enough. So, we're getting 178 gold, which is quite useful as well. Uh, we could employ, uh, you know what, I think it's time for our son to look at a marriage as well. I'm just going to pause the game for a second. I'm going to go Alliance. And let's see what we have available for us. Uh, hmm. Who do we have married off at the moment? So our son and heir is married to House Kraken. Oh, so Krakow, which is a good one because she has claims which we then can press. Uh, question, where are you? You are there. Can we press them now? I'm not going to see if we... Oh, we've probably got an alliance. Uh, we might be able to. I'm not too sure. We'll have a check of that. Our eldest daughter is married... Ooh, what happened there? Oh, wait, wrong person. That's not my eldest daughter. I was like, wait a minute, why is she so old? No, our eldest daughter is married to Prince Dormant of the Rock, who will eventually become the king. So, technically, our grandson is now the king. Oh, he's actually quite good. He's robust, he's comely, and he's intelligent. That's really, really good. I'm happy with that. Uh, he's not married to anyone. You, our, one of our youngest sons is married to House Rexley uh, in a matrilineal way, because we did take the land. We will be returning that land to them as well eventually which is down here in uh, Midvale, so I'm fine with that. Uh, our youngest daughter, well, uh, one of our younger daughters isn't married yet, or portrayed, I should say. Our youngest daughter isn't either, and our youngest son isn't either, which is fine and dandy. Uh, no. Okay, so, I think we do look at finding an alliance. Probably outside of the Westerlands, but somewhere close. Uh, no, she's a bit too... Old. Where are you? Upper Vale. Mm. The Riverlands? She has no claim, I'm assuming. Yeah, you're heir because... Wait. Oh no, different person. Sorry, there we go. Yeah, she's a bastard. Not going to do that. House Wentz. Ooh. I'm assuming she's... Yeah, she's got no... Uh, no claim on any land. I'm kind of looking for people who have claims on a land. Uh, Pickledon. Um, if we knock him off and then marry her. No, she's got no claims. Uh, can we actually find out? No, okay. That's fine. Whoops. No, we're going to go back. I don't want that. Clear character. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Has claims. So I'm assuming... Some, most of these don't have claims. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I would like an alliance and claim as well at the same time. I think we're just going to marry her, uh, him off to a mandolin. I think that would be probably the best bet. Stormland, yeah. We could be here all day. Uh, culture, we could actually find the Westerlands. There you go. Okay, I'm looking literally down that corner. Oh, there was one there. And there's another one there. How old are you? That's not bad. What's an alliance with you? 2,200. You're quite a distant relative of him. But what I'm thinking is we could then claim their land for our family as well. So we could kind of start looking at expanding. Um, and that is a decent alliance as well. Go away. Hmm. I'm just thinking. You're 13. You're 16. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to arrange that marriage. I think that's a 
one, it's a good in marriage. It's not a lot of troops, it's still 2,200. Really close, which is really useful for us, so we're not waiting, you know, from Timbuktu. She's got a claim which we can then probably press as well. He becomes part of the fam- Oh, that land will become part of our family as well. So, do we look at doing that? Hmm. Sure, why not? Okay, yep, why not? We'll, we'll press it and we'll see how things go. Okay. Excellent. We've got an alliance now with uh, Ashmark, which is quite useful for us, like I was saying. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just see how things go. Where are you? You guys are buggered off, so we can press this attack, then crush them, and then... The good thing is we can play defensive. Uh, disabled buildings, that's fine. We are doing everything else we can to boost our control over the areas. You're not going to be able to get there in time, which is fine. Uh, you're not useful, so I'm not worried about you. Can we move up and attack? No, that's fine. I'm happy to sit there then. It's pretty much all over anyway. Mainly for the fact that they don't have control over any of the territories that they need to hold. So that's fine with me. Uh, let's continue increasing control. Let's do it in Midvale. I think will be useful. Uh, council, no. What did I want to do? Ah, prisoners. we got a bunch of prisoners. Ooh, I don't think that wall contained any use yet. Oh no, 25%. So I don't want to get rid of him then. That's fine. So we do have another point in... Oops, wrong way. And where we need it. Uh, you know what? We're just going to release you. We're going to get a hook on you, just in case. And we'll release you and get a hook on... You won't. Uh, you'll... You will accept being banished to the Night's Watch. Fine, fair enough. You can go to the Night's Watch then. And I'll let us continue down here. We're going to go... Ooh. Well, technically we're at war, so we might as well go war profiteering, make a little bit of money extra while we're here. Because why not? Excellent. He's gone and joined the Night's Watch. And we've gained a hook on him. He, he's not going to... Unless he comes into money, that hook's going to be useless, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Okay, we're going to move down here. That's fine. I'm happy with that. We could probably have sieged our Villarin anyway. Oh, it's all over anyway, so it doesn't matter. So he has had to pay 173 gold, which is quite good for us as well. Um, funny thing is, if I really wanted to, I could probably try and imprison him and then banish him and take the gold for myself. I'm not going to do that, though. Uh, we'll train our son. Uh, let's go... Train Swordsman, sure. I'm not even too sure if any of that makes a difference. I think it should, so... I don't know how it would work. But different traits, like if you focus on Cavalry, you know, he might get a Cavalry bonus. Swordsman, he gets becomes a better Swordsman. Things like that. I think that would be really cool. I don't know how you'd implement it, but I think that's fine. We're not going to petition Liege. Above the Domain, I know that for sure. And our daughter... we. Could ask for gold. Okay, eventually, but not for a while. And she's pregnant as well, which is fine. Okay, we're up to 600 gold, which is quite good. We were also able to upgrade from flooded drain, uh, flooded to drained ruins, which is good for us. Can't upgrade that building, which is fine. Uh, we could upgrade this for 600 gold. That will push that down, which I'm going to hold off. I really want to focus on doing this. Uh... That's still 3,000 gold. Because I kind of would like to try and do it in one foul, sorry. So what's that? 6, 12, 18. Oops, no, not easy. So that's 600. That's 600. That's 600. Ah, because, yes, yes, we've got the discounts. Okay, 6, 12, 18. Okay, that's not too bad. So we need about 1,800 gold to kind of push that through, which is fine. I could take out a loan. Uh, but I'm not going to from the Iron Bank. Don't think it's worth the risk. So we're just going to continue using the money that we have available. Uh, to just... Yeah, I'm happy with the way things are going. Now, I'm tempted to give the land away to my son now. Uh, but I think we just hold on 
off. Probably until they marry, at least. Uh, offer knight tutelage. Sure, you know what? I'm happy with that. He can train. My son is a knight. And we could go on a hunt. You know what? Oh, we may not arrive. Okay, not even going to bother then. If we could, not going to make it. Level of opi uh, vassal opinion, domain levies, domain tax is down. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Um, for the time being. I'm still bringing in a lot of money and I just don't want to give away the, the territory. Well, sorry, the building anyway. Uh, hmm. I could probably give away borrowed keep, actually. That would be quite useful. We are building a water mill there, so I think we'll hold off on that for the time being. Castle Pendrick. Definitely want to hold Castle Pendrick, uh, Castamere, and... Oh, well, that alliance did not last for very long, unfortunately. Uh, which kind of sucks. We could still push her claim. How many troops you have? 2013... Uh, 4,000 troops, okay. So you're decent. Because like I said, if we could get this to our son, we could then somehow... Nah. Eventually, we do want to become the king of the Westerlands, but I think, for the time being, we're happy with what it is. My dear uncle, I would like for your son and heir, Golden Blackmane, to become the squire. You know what? Accept it. We will accept that, sure. Why not? That's fine with us. I am not too worried. Okay, cool. So, like I said, we are bringing in a bit of gold as well, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, don't want to give away that or that. Maybe we give away Borrowed Keep and control those three? Because normally three is about the most you can get. A Duke and Westerland gives us two, then Stewardship normally gives us about three. So we may give away the Borrowed Keep. Um... I think we give that to maybe our youngest child, I think, eventually. I think that would make the best sense, maybe. Excellent, he's gone up a little bit more in points. Um, courtiers, what about our courtiers? Who's, who's kind of earned it? Hmm, definitely not going to go in Providence, because I don't want to lose 155 gold. Um... Ooh. Well, we're not zealous. So I think we're just going to keep boosting the stress. We are 52 as well, but I think we're just going to take the stress here, I think. And I'm tempted to give away our land. Uh, you're 55. What would happen to if we did give it away to you and you died? That's the thing. We want somebody who's a bit younger. Uh, my personal champion. You know what? Sure, congratulations. I don't think he's done anything as a personal champion, but I think he's earned the right to earn a bit of land. So, oh, my dear uncle, my court is going on tour. I shall soon be visiting Lyle to inspect the castles and land. The lords and ladies of the Rock will render the tithe owed to me. I expect a welcome befitting the king, sure. No worries. Okay, we're going to give away the borrow uh, more to... Sir Corso the Heartless of a Stout Spear. What a name. Excellent. Congratulations. And he's no longer our per personal champion, which is fine, like I said. And then, okay, so it goes just to random people then. Fair enough. That's okay. As long as it stays within our control. We can ask for payment, which we are going to do. Oh, yeah. What did you end up having as well? Hey, my son is now a knight. Excellent. Oh, did she have a miscarriage? She might have. Fair enough. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I could declare war. My claim? I got a claim on ha Ashmark. I did not even know that. Uh, good for him. Wow. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do you think I should push my, my, uh, my claim on Ashmark? I don't even know where that came from, to tell you the truth. Uh, 
I've got to have the ways. Declare war. Is it just literally my claim? It is just my claim. That's okay. Uh, no, I think we're going to hold off for a little bit then. I don't think I'm going to push it. Uh, don't want to become too greedy. Like I said, and the problem is even if I did conquer it, what am I going to do with it? There's not much to claim. Uh, which is fine. Okay, uh, arrange betrothal. Uh, so they can now get married. Excellent. We're going to accept that. There's another alliance there, and that means I can't declare war without breaking it. Yeah, that's fine. And we can't push... I'm pretty sure we can't push her claim. Yeah, because there's no claim, which is fine. But once we pass away and our son inherits, we'll be able to push that claim for... Uh, Let's, I believe that's the name. Oh, they had a son as well, called Alan. Oh, how nice. And we got 150 prestige. Excellent. So, everything's going quite dandy then. Uh, our son has finally grown up. Excellent. He's not too bad, besides the Wrathful. He's really strong in stewardship, which is quite good. Uh, we will knight him. Excellent. And like I said, once they get married, we will then give the land away to them. And Houseworks, whatever the name is, will finally re-inherit the land as well. So that's good. And then we'll be under our domain limit as well, which is fine. Okay, uh, the undershoot water wheels have been completed as well. Excellent. So like I said, we're still bringing in a decent amount of income as well. Oh, how sad. He won't be coming. Oh, how unfortunate. That's fine. Normally they try and get money out of you, so I'm kind of glad that fell through. Petition the liege. Oh, I don't think we really need a petition for anything at the moment, to tell you the truth. We could get a claim on the Golden Tooth. Whoa. That is... Wait, why? Okay. Ooh. So, the question is, if we do it, is it just the dukedom? I don't want the land. Okay, I do get the title, which would be brilliant uh you have no oh wait why is that's weird so i can go that way but i can't go left okay it's probably just because of the what's appearing okay um i'm not afraid of their alliance um we're ruthless i think we only i'm almost tempted to push it that would make us one of the largest uh factions in the reach would have all cast me the Golden Tooth, and eventually when our son inherits, we can push the claim for Kraken Hall, and would we'll own a very large portion of it. But I reckon what I'm going to do is mm, compassionate, we're tempered, but we're ruthless in battle. Oof. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, should I push... You know what? We're going to ask for a request anyway, but I'm not going to press it Unless you guys think about, uh, if you guys agree. So like I said, um, I've claimed it. So we do have a claim on uh, the Golden Tooth. I believe so. Excellent. Uh, we do spend 260 uh, piety. And we she does like it. She likes us 50% less, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that. But should I press it or should I just leave it? I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, so leave it in the comment below whether you guys agree I, I should push for it and then if we get Ashmark we'd become massive we could almost become our own kingdom within a kingdom that'd be awesome but yeah what do you guys think should I push the claim or should I just let it go it's gonna sit there until we die so we have it until pretty much I cark it so probably another episode at the most maybe two uh, our child lacks sure our wife can train well raise her which is fine and there is another the disease we're about to you Okay, up here, that's fine. We should be away from it, which is decent. Because that would give us so much more money. Incestrious, why? You been... Uh... Hmm. Well, you don't have... How can you be incestuous? You don't really have any relatives, unless it's with your your son or your daughter or something like that anyway um yeah we'll get back to it uh, we'll get there eventually like i said if you guys think i should press the claim let me know if not 
I may eventually do it anyway, just before we die. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it up to you. Excellent. Uh, they can now get married, which is good. Excellent. Now, now that they're married, can I press her claim? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping we could press, like, everyone's claim. It would be brilliant. We could be just massive. Uh, okay. Uh-oh, what's that? Is there an... Oh. A walkthrough lordship of... Lowell seems pleasant enough at first, but closer inspection reveals something deeply unpleasant. A plague has arrived. Um, we've already got a maester, so the, these poor sick peasants. Um, yeah, no point getting another maester if we already got it. Ooh, okay. We have the romantic plague. So we're going to go control plagues. And we'll see how things go from there. We can isolate the capital, which we're going to do as well. This for 15 years. But that will help us out. I'm not going to enter seclusion, though. Okay. And like I said, we will see how that disease spreads. Hopefully, it's only temporal. It doesn't look like it's spreading too much. Our capital, oh, our capital is there, so yeah, we are being affected by it, unfortunately. Ooh, we'll just have to keep an eye on everything. Our daughter has fallen ill, but you're better again, which is good. I'm happy with that. Excellent. Okay. Uh, he's died of consumption. Ooh, and looks like you've got consumption as well. That's not good. Okay, we've got to replace our... Counts, uh, Chancellor, which is fine. We'll replace him with. Ooh, who do we want to replace him with? Let's go, Master Terence of Fork. What is that, Fork Rich? Sure. Okay. Everything else is fine. We're going to collect taxes instead. That's just going to boost the amount of money. Ooh, he doesn't look good either. He's going to die as well. Bugger. You're just old and infirm. That's okay. So overall, we're not doing too... And there he goes. He literally died just right there. Okay, we're going to assign our son. Excellent. Congratulations. He's actually really good. Like I said, uh, he's going to be sorely missed in another year or so once they actually get married, which we'll find out soon enough. Uh, our alliance with the High Towers has fallen apart, unfortunately. Uh, can we get a negotiated alliance? I suppose we've got enough alliances as it is, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we can bring, yeah, still 38. Well, if we get rid of him, these ones are still quite good, so that's not too much to be worried about. Okay, bad history. A poet is reciting a tale about the historical event long ago before me before me in an audience. Okay, I realise he just made a mistake. Correct him? Prestige. Piety. Uh, we're going to correct him. History should not be lies. We just get 25... Yeah, just 25 pre uh, prestige. That's fine. Nothing else really seems to be affected by it. That's fine. Oh no! Our wife has now got consumption. That is not good. Uh, everyone else is okay. We're going to go be cautious. Do no more than what is necessary. Uh, excellent. She has received successful treatment. So hopefully that's all good and dandy. Just want to keep an eye on everyone else. Um, no, we're going to wait before we ask for money. Okay. Explorer from across the narrow seas. We get diplomacy. We get intrigue. Or we lose stress. We're going to lose stress. Tales of far away lands are always soothing. Sure. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Well, I think I am going to leave it there in two seconds. Um... Let's go cutting cornerstones. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, those were 600 before we do end. Excellent. It has gone down by 30 gold as well. Whoops. I did want to pause it. Who are you being married off to? Uh, Baron Marbrandt. You don't want to. Okay. Well, we're not going to force it. That's fine. Even though you have, he's got claims... I think we'll just leave it well enough alone. Uh, ooh. 
Okay, fine. You do not have to marry him. Okay, that's okay. You know what? You don't have to marry him. We're not going to force it. So that alliance will probably break through. And he's probably not going to be happy with that either. No, okay, it's not too bad. That's fine. Normally, if you break an alliance, you get a bit of a negative. But that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is before we do end the turn, uh, end the episode, sorry, we're going to upgrade that. That's going to take 12 years. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't realize that's how much it's going to take. That's fine. We do have plenty of money now as well. So if that's going to take 12 years, we may as well upgrade. We're going to build a hospice there. So that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, custom is not much we can do about that. Uh, let's build a quarry. Do you reckon a quarry would be useful? You know what? Let's go build a blacksmith. Okay, excellent. We're going to leave and everything else can stay alone as it is. Uh, we could build a hospice because we're going to give that land away. I like trying to build a hospice every in every capital of people's lands just so they don't drop dead. But I think we're just going to leave it there, guys. As always, thank you very much for staying tuned this far. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to press the claim on the golden tooth. Because like I said, I think that will be great. And then we will eventually get uh, Kraken Hall as well. Uniting a big chunk of the Westlands under our banner. So until then, you guys have a good one. And bye for now.